What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I just finished making my coffee and filling up my water. I try to do a gallon a day of these, but generally I probably do about a little bit more than half of this. I don't end up finishing it entirely. Depends if I work out. If I work out, I usually do finish the whole gallon, but if I don't, just about a little bit more than half. So I made my coffee and I'm about to take my vitamins. In today's video, as you can tell from the title, I forgot to mention, we're going to be doing a what I eat in a day. I've been pretty intentional about what I eat during the week for at least like the last two and a half months. I've been counting my macros on my phone and being very intentional with what I eat. Um, and then on weekends, I just eat whatever I want. That's just what works for me. Um, I don't really like to be restrictive because then I feel like it kind of sucks the fun out of this whole fitness journey. So I just limit myself to eating intentionally Monday to Friday and then weekends I just, I don't like pig out, but I just don't really like focus on it. You know, I don't make it a thing, I just eat whatever. So I usually start my mornings with taking my vitamins. So I'm gonna show you guys the vitamins that I take. Um, I take omega-3, so I take one of these. I take B12 one of these and then i take two of the multivitamins and then at night about 30 minutes to an hour before i go to bed i also take melatonin so i'm gonna take my vitamins really quickly <sighs> thank you jesus for health <sighs> last one I like to drink a lot of water after I take them because I don't like the taste of the vitamin. But these are the three vitamins that I take. And then I just sip on my coffee for the next few hours. So lately I've been doing the Puerto Rico pod with uh, one little teaspoon of brown sugar and then whole milk. On most weekdays I do intermittent fasting so I probably won't have breakfast until about 12 or one. Sometimes I go a little bit further than one, just kind of depends on how busy I am, but I do do intermittent fasting. If you want to learn more about that, you can search it up because I don't want to confuse anyone. But from my understanding, it's basically you fast for 16 hours and that kind of helps keep you at a calorie deficit. So it helps you lose weight and eight of those hours you're sleeping. So, um, or more if you sleep more, but so you don't really feel it. At least I don't. And it does take a while to get used to, but once you, um, get in the rhythm of it, then you it comes natural, like your body kind of knows. So I usually don't have breakfast in the morning. I just sip on my coffee and my water, and then I'll have breakfast around noon. So I'll catch you guys at noon. toast with a fried egg on top and honestly the key to a good avocado toast is the seasoning in my opinion so i did half an avocado i topped the avocado with everything but the bagel seasoning and then for the egg i seasoned it with the chili and lime seasoning from trader joe's and then i topped it all off with sriracha i just love a good seasoned avocado toast So yummy. And this is honestly such an easy breakfast too. Mm. So this entire avocado toast is around 380 calories and it gives you a nice source of protein and fat with the avocado and egg. So I love doing this for breakfast. If I'm feeling hungry still after having this toast, then I'll do like a yogurt parfait with yogurt, granola, 
and fruits, but I'm headed to the gym in an hour or so, so I don't want to eat too, too much because then I feel like I have a sluggish workout because I'm too full. So I'm just going to do this and maybe have that for snack when I get back from the gym. Back from the gym and I'm having a little fruit bowl snack with this macro bar. It's from Go Macro and it's the peanut butter chocolate chip bar. It looks like this. I picked it up at Trader Joe's. It's not the most conventional looking bar because it looks like very gummy looking, but it's actually pretty good and filling. Um, this bar helps me reach my protein macros for every day because it has 11 grams of protein. So I'm just having this little snack to get me through the rest of my work day, which is like another hour or so. And then I'm gonna make myself a really late lunch because I ended up going to the gym like around 2.30. I got there like at 2.30, so I didn't leave until 3.30. Now I'm home. So we're gonna have a late lunch, probably like five-ish. I'm gonna have a yummy salad and then we're gonna have dinner. I'm doing pretty good for my water intake. I'm at, I would say four o'clock. So I'm right on the dot, which is good. On most days, I probably just do a little bit more than half. Like I probably do like at th 3 p.m. On, on average, but when I work out, I usually do finish the whole thing. So I'm just gonna enjoy my little snack. Mm. I'm so hungry. <laughs> salad kit from Trader Joe's and it's basically just arugula, carrots, almonds, parmesan cheese and this really good basil lemon vinaigrette and I just tossed it all together and I'm gonna have this for lunch. These little salad kits are perfect for days like this because hmm, they're so easy to just throw together and Trader Joe's has a ton of different salad kits I love arugula, but they have a ton of other ones too. This is how you know I'm hungry because I'm just eating standing up. <laughs> it's really yummy. It's definitely very lemony, but I like lemony, so it's really good. Cheers. Basically everything that I ate today is from Trader Joe's. That was not intentional at all. I just happened to use a bunch of stuff from Trader Joe's because uh, we went shopping there this week. So, but a lot of things are super easy to make at home. So this chicken was the chicken that was already marinated. It's pollo autentico is what they called it, but it's basically just like a lemony marinade. And then these roasted veggies, I just threw them into the oven for 15 minutes and we have Butternut squash, potatoes, sweet potatoes, onions, peppers, Brussels sprouts, all the goods. And this was basically just seasoned with garlic, rosemary, salt, pepper, you know, all the goodness. And then we made this cucumber tomato salad here at home. We put salt, pepper, and lime juice, and we're good to go. I almost burned the chicken, as you can tell, because I have a little thermometer here that I like to use 
to temperature check the chicken because I'm always nervous that I'm gonna be eating undercooked chicken. And I accidentally had the thermometer at in Celsius. So I kept measuring 77 Celsius and I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing is not going up because chicken is supposed to be 160. So I was like, wow, we got a long way to go, but it's already been on there for a minute. And then I realized it was on Celsius. So I'm sure this will be good. I like my chicken crispy anyway. So this is dinner. I'm gonna have it with some water. We have a whole dining table. We never eat there. I know. You're not funny. I don't feel like that. You're horrible. I mean, islands are so convenient. Mmm. Delicious angel. I love that we're a team. I cook and you help me clean. Guess what I'm about to get? What? Sorry for the noise, the dishwasher is running. But I'm gonna end my night off. I have my blankie on. I'm gonna end my night off with some dessert and I'm gonna have the Gone Bananas from Trader Joe's. These are my favorite desserts, mainly because they're such a, what is the word? Like they're such, What's the opposite of guilty? Uh, innocent? No, like... Yeah, innocent. Like, they're such innocent desserts. <laughs> because I don't feel bothered about it. A certain amount of chocolate is good for you and banana is great for you. So, only four of these little guys are 100 calories. So, I'll usually have four when I'm in the mood for them. my tooth if you grew up in a hispanic household or around the hispanic culture and you're familiar with choco banano this tastes just like choco banano you know the stick that has banana and the chocolate dip because it's literally the same thing but just in slices instead so i love having these they're so like they're just the perfect way to end my night so i'm gonna go ahead and have four of these and that basically wraps up what i eat in a day I hope you guys enjoyed this video and what unintentionally became what I eat in a day from Trader Joe's. It's just Trader Joe's has so many things that are so easy to cook and take the hassle out of cooking a lot of times, like a lot of pre-made stuff. So just find it easier to eat is basically where I'm going to end off my meals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <music>